pour it up there. Okay. So now I need to go live on here. Trying to make sure I'm right. <laughs> Now I feel so bad I didn't wear that print. And I was going to even wear army fatigue. Oh, you were going to wear army fatigue? Someone said, yes, flower child. <laughs> Are you live already? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hi, Naja. How are you? Can everyone on IG hear me okay? Please let me know if you can hear me well. Okay, perfect. All right, we're just waiting on a couple more people and then we're gonna get started. Oh, I'm great. As you can see, I'm dressed in all these flowers. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Geneva. Make sure everyone can hear me well. <sighs> Hi, Mom. How are you? <sighs> All right, guys, we're going to get started. So good evening, Londoners. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm a little... Uh, <laughs> Flustered. I'm a little flustered because I have so much going on um, and I'm going to tell you all about it and right now. Um, welcome to the Fashion Week episode. Uh, so today we will be talking all about uh, fashion and Muslima fashion. Uh, get into that, okay, because no one does it but me. Um, but we are sitting here sipping on chamomile tea. So today when I went to Target, um, I had to get the baby his little snacks, right? So I came across these little things. So this is how they get you because they put this right in the front of the line. Like when you're checking out, you know how they have like the little, you know, stuff for you to buy there, like hand sanitizer, shampoo. So I saw these little wafers. So you make your tea or your coffee. And then while your tea or your coffee is hot, right? These wafers are filled with caramel. And then when you put the wafer on top of the tea or the coffee, it melts the caramel and makes it more scrumptious, I suppose. So we're gonna try this and see how good it tastes. Hmm, it's all right. I won't buy it again though. <laughs> and that's the truth um i mean because now that the uh, the wafer has gotten a little bit of steam on it it's a little chewy it's not a uh, it's not crunchy like you would want a wafer to be but anywho i'm sipping chamomile tea today because my nerves are just shot um my son finally did turn one. So he is going to his uh, his appointment tomorrow, which he will be getting shots, <laughs> which um, it makes me nervous. Every single time he is going to the doctor, I'm always a nervous wreck. My palms are wet. I have no idea like how this is gonna turn out. So you guys just bear with me, okay? Because I'm a first time mom, I be doing the most. Um, but <laughs> uh, I just wanna tell you guys a little story before we go forward though. 
I have been looking to get back into the job market. So I recently applied for a editor job with InStyle Magazine. Now imagine to my surprise, because I have no editing experience at all, like none whatsoever. Um, I got to second base with them, which was a huge accomplishment because I didn't think they were going to respond to me anyway. And they send me an assessment. So pretty much you have to like, you know, log into their portal and they ask you a series of questions of like, you know, what's grammatically correct in this sentence and blah, blah, blah. blah. Now, a portion of this assessment was, uh, it was a recording, which I had to listen to out loud because I'm doing it in bed at 7 a.m. this morning. So I got up, I tried to close my door so that my son wouldn't hear the recording while I'm taking this assessment. And I only have a minute or so to answer the question so I didn't have time to run and get headphones or I would have failed. Um, long story short, he heard it woke up, started screaming, mama, and then I think I blew it. So I'm almost certain that InStyle is not going to call me back because <laughs> I'm almost for sure that, I, you know, he distracted me and I'm just like, oh my God, I got to get this kid in school. This is it. Like, I can't do this anymore. I am literally drowning. I have water up to here, like trying to figure out how to balance being this mom. And, you know, I'm a momager too because he's a model. And I'm just, I'm doing the most. I'm doing 100. I'm only one person. I need to take a chill pill and get this baby in school. That's the ultimate plan. Okay. So, y'all. Help me out. Send me some places that don't cost three thousand a month, okay? Because I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to work it out. But um, that's that. Um, first off, well, secondly, I want to give a shout out to my neighbor, former former nanny. She always takes him away when I need to do my shows. So I just, I'm, I'm so grateful for her, one hundred percent, because um, she doesn't have to do it, but you know, she's more than willing because she knows. The, your girl is on the come up right now. So I'm trying to make it work. But um, yeah, that's what's pretty much what's been going on with me lately. So um, let's talk about Fashion Week. How about that, right? So I have been on this whole media thing. Uh, so I actually applied to be media coverage, media and press coverage at a bunch of different shows. And I didn't think twice about it and I got in y'all. Can you freaking believe that? I don't have a million followers and they let me in. I got my own press badge, like they sent it to me. So I'm like, literally, I can't wrap my head around it because I'm like, I have a million shows to go to within eight days. And I don't know how I'm going to work this out. Like, am I really going to be able to, like, take my baby in the sling and go and interview models and designers? And what am I going to say? What am I going to wear? How am I pulling this off? I'm just literally freaking out on the inside because I didn't think I would get in. Like, they usually want people who have like million plus followers. Now, no, I didn't get into the big, big, big shows with like Reem Akra and all them, but people usually have to go through a serious, you know, situation to get in. But, you know, maybe they see my, all the times you guys liked and shared my videos and they're like, oh, okay, there's something to this girl. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I don't really care why they let me in. I'm just happy I did. But, um, I, um, have been into this whole like journalism thing for a very long time. Like I was pretty much a writer back in the day, like when I wanted to, you know, get out my frustrations about being bullied in school or, you know, when I was being cheated on, like I always turned to writing to express myself. And here I am doing it again, pretty much via social media video. Um, so, I, I feel like I'm kind of onto something with this whole press thing. But um, 
you know, Fashion Week is a big deal to girls like me. You know, it, it's a feeling, um, it's a feeling I can't really describe. And I mean, as many of you know, I've shown collections at Fashion Week, um, you know, two times. And it was literally one of the most exhilarating experiences I've ever felt. Like mm -hmm. backstage, it's chaotic. But once you finally do your finale walk and you see all of your girls lined up wearing your clothes that you made, your blood, sweat, and tears, it took you six, seven months to make, like that is a feeling that, you know, you know how they say, you know, drug addicts, they go, I mean, I hate to say that out loud, but a lot of times they say that drug addicts, they go back chasing the same high that they got the first time. Be, and that's how they become addicted. I'm addicted to fashion. I'm addicted to designing. It's what I do, is what I love. I love to see other people in their element like that. So that's why I just wanna go there. Even though I'm not showing a collection, I just want to interview other people and just have, I, I wanna experience, you know, their experience with them. So, um, you know, there are a lot of people who go to fashion shows for different reasons, just to be seen. Um, there are people who go, you know, looking to buy clothes. Uh, there are lots of different reasons, but I go really for the passion. Uh, fashion Week means a lot to me, and it means even more now that I'm going as my own brand to, you know, cover all of these up and coming designers. designers. So I'm really excited about Fashion Week, but today, um, we are going to be talking all about Muslima fashion. So I'm really excited. Um, I was a little nervous about today's <laughs> interview because um, a lot of people thought that I was Muslim uh, because I tend to dress modestly. I wear a lot of long skirts and, you know, usually don't wear like too many short things or whatever. But um, A Bridge to London works perfectly for um, the modest world because it's very, um, it's very classy, you know, um, but sexy at the same time. Like I know, um, I know that I strive for my clothes to leave a lot for the imagination. Um, I don't like to show a whole, whole lot. That's why I always have balance. Like if I'm wearing a low cut top, you please, you better believe that my skirt is gonna be below the knee or longer and vice versa. If I'm wearing a turtleneck and long sleeves, then I'll probably have on a little mini skirt or a skirt above the knee. It's all about balance. Like everybody can work that balance. You don't wear, you know, a low cut top and then, you know, a short skirt because it doesn't make you look too classy. So you always want to leave a little bit for the imagination. Don't show it all off. Um, you know, let people wonder about it. So, you know, how, keep some of your beauty within. Don't show it all out for the world. But with that being said, oh, first off, before I go any further, please, 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 guys, make sure you like and share this video. I cannot say it enough, pretty please, um, because I am trying, trying, trying to get the word out about tea time. Um, it's extremely, extremely important. Um, secondly, as you know, whatever is on this table next to me um, is what I'm giving away tonight. So I will show it a little bit, of, a little bit later, but I'm um, giving away this beautiful scarf uh, that I got here in NYC. So we'll talk about that a little bit later. But now I want to introduce my guest for this evening. And her name is Naima Bennett. <laughs> wow. Hi, guys. You guys, welcome, Naima. Hi. So, um, she is my home girl. Of uh, how long have we known each other? Girl. <laughs> Way before I was. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, wow, probably like five, seven years, maybe. Like, a good while. Yeah. Um, it's and been more than that because I've been, been practicing for about four years. So maybe I would say six. 
Okay, so about six years. So wait, are you going to any shows this week? Um, I did register for, I think it's Plitz Fashion Marketing. Oh, I showed with them before. Yeah, so they have, I, I signed up for it. I'm like, okay, I'm going to indulge. It's <laughs> okay. been a while <laughs> since I've been like in the fashion um, market since I've started, you know, changing a little bit. But, uh -huh. um, yeah, so Saturday, I think that I have to pick the timing, but. They have so many shows. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's usually like a huge lineup for the day. Um, oh, my mom said, Aslam alaikum. Wa alaikum aslam. Oh, and uh, pretty perfectly said, Aslam alaikum. Wa alaikum aslam. So, uh, so we're talking all about Muslima fashion today. So tell me, what, how do you classify your personal style? Um, hmm. Of course, we have to be very selective in what we show yeah. <laughs> as far as our skins. But um, I lean more towards the classic um, yet statement kind of look. Mm -hmm. I love, you know, it's a lot of sexiness in being covered. Exactly. But um, I like to kind of gather a lot of my fashion sense with the accessories. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So um, I would say classic, chic, obedient. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yes, I, I, I love the elegant look. I've been like that um, for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I've always known her to. So, OK, I, <laughs> I knew Naima when she didn't cover. So we'll talk about that a little bit more. But she was always very <laughs> vibrant, always had a lot of accessories. And I'm like, yes, girl. And she, <laughs> 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 and she just finished, so I was like, wait. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes. So um, all right. So we spoke about this a little bit earlier. So. Mm -hmm. There's typically like a shortage of modest fashion out there. Um, it's not a secret. Everybody knows that, um, which I feel like is a little bit disappointing, um, even for myself, uh, because a lot of times I'll go into Forever 21 or H&M and I'm like, oh my gosh, this dress would have been so much prettier had they not had all those slits in the back. Like who thought to put this here, you know? Mm -hmm. Sometimes I feel like it's just not classy and I don't really know who would wear this. But where do you usually get your modest fashion? Um, you know, there are two sisters um, that, you know, does a small fashion show um, and have like a showcase. Um, and one of, one of the, both of their names, one is Samira, and the other one, oh my God, I always forget her name, and she's from Jersey, Haja. Uh -huh. um, and there, what I love about their abayas, what we call uh, the garments right. with abayas, mm -hmm. is that it's different. Mm -hmm. You know, I love differentiation. Um, and it, it, it pays attention to small detail. Mm -hmm. So um, Samira, I remember the first time I started wearing abayas, and she had this black, um, this long black abaya with this, Big gold zipper. Oh, yeah. And that was just, that was it for me. Uh -huh. I fell in love. I, I snatched it. I actually got this garment from her. Really? Um, yeah. They, she pretty much does a lot of um, thought into her designs. Mm -hmm. And then has it manufactured, I think, in Yemen. Oh, okay. And then, um, you know, so I like a lot of the fabric um, content as well. So I get it. I get it specially made. <laughs> oh, you do? All of your clothes? Yeah. Sometimes oh, my I gosh. Sometimes I like the simple ones, and that's just like a throw. But normally, yeah. <laughs> wow. That's amazing, Naima. Yeah. I, I can't even say that. <laughs> no, I mean, you, you know, you change. You got to kind of stick to what defines you. Right. And I love to be different. You right. Know what I mean? Right. So, there you have it. And I love this abaya you're wearing. This like <laughs> ruffle is like giving me life. I know that the camera doesn't really do it justice, but she has like this lace ruffle on top of the mm -hmm. sleeve. And it's like, you know, what's more sexy than lace? I love it. This it's is so beautiful. <laughs> oh my goodness. Thank um, you. So I know that a lot of Muslimas um, are really into makeup. Is that your thing too? Girl, you know I always love makeup. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, I love makeup. Thanks to my sister Trish, she got me like into the whole makeup thing. Oh, but um, 
I'm sorry. Okay, so at uh, pretty perfectly covered. She wants to know. Uh, she wants to tag the the garment. Um, the sister doesn't have a site. She doesn't have a site. No. Does she have a number? Um, does she? No. It's just um, you know she just calls a few sisters to come over when she does the collection, and we just grab. Um, I would tell her what I like, the designs that she, you know, she's uh -huh. going to have made overseas. Uh -huh. And she comes back with what, you know, the request is. In. Oh, wow. She doesn't. Well, um, I'm sorry, Pretty Perfectly Covered. You just oh. have to call me. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be coming out with a lot for the Muslims. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry to have interrupted you. So okay. um, you said that makeup is your thing. Makeup is my thing. Um, essentially, though. It is not something that Muslim women should wear outside because it's a beautification uh -huh. um, and it will bring all type of um, attention, mm -hmm. sometimes positive, sometimes negative. And that's mainly the reason why we cover. Mm -hmm. um, I do it very lightly. And, you know, if I do it a little heavy, then I would cover my face. Okay. Um, just because you don't want to stir up anything in someone, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That may have a weakness for certain things. But um, I love makeup, girl. <laughs> I got bags of it. <laughs> Bags and bags. Literally, my husband said to me, I've never seen anyone with all of this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, well, that's me. <laughs> I love it. I'm not, I'm not even going to like sit here and try to, you know, say anything different. Yes, mm -hmm. we can wear makeup. It is not impermissible for a Muslim woman to wear makeup. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, I've seen some um, Muslims with like, flawless, flawless makeup. Um, I have a friend who I used to work with. Her name is um, Sam, Samantha, but we call her Sam. I always felt like this girl was just absolutely stunning, but I've never seen her without makeup. Okay. Not to say that she wouldn't be stunning without mm -hmm. makeup, but mm -hmm. I just was like, oh my gosh, she's so pretty. And she's always had like this great like personal style. Like she mm -hmm. wears all these different um color um hijabs and you know, uh you know, everything is just so well put together. Mm -hmm. And she's the one who like really inspired me because I'm just like, you know, to really look outside of that and just mm -hmm. be like, I'm inspired by her, you Absolutely. know? Um awesome. Which I, I thought was great. Like, I had no idea that. And I mean, maybe it was even, you know, wrong on my part. It's just like, you know, a lot of times when you're ignorant in that sense and mm -hmm. you're like, oh, well, you know, they have to cover up and mm -hmm. um, that's the end all be all. There is yes. no like style involved. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like... Uh, I, I really enjoyed like seeing her come to work every day I know. because That's I was just good. like, I want to see how she's going to switch it up today. today. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's great. Like it's, you know, not to say that you're in a box, but it's kind of like you're, you are in a box so you got to make it work. And she, she makes it so work, true. honey. And another person I want to say who makes it work and she has come a long way is my mother. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, I'll be seeing you, Miss Cora. Yes, I do. Let me tell y'all something real quick, real quick. We go, we go just take a break for a second. Oh, uh, Ramadan. Okay. Mm -hmm. She showed up at the mosque with a full beaded gown on. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, it was completely sick. I just thought that she was so stunning in that dress. Like you have no idea. I I gotta. I wish I had like a, a big screen where I could like show pictures of what I'm talking about. But I was just like, oh my goodness. Um, she's really doing it. Like she's really coming into her own. Cause I, I mean, sorry mom to say this on air, <laughs> but in the beginning I was like, mom, you have such great style. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> but she finally got it together. And I say, honey can slay. But, um, yeah, so that's all I'm gonna say. All right. <laughs> Mike gonna kill me. <laughs> um, so wait a minute. Um, is your husband Muslim? Yes, he is. Okay, okay. <laughs> so when you guys first got together and you weren't covering, right? Well, when I met my husband, I was covering. Girl. Were you? Mm -hmm. And you took a break? No. Um, we met in 2000, no, like what, two years ago. 
So yeah, we just and I started practicing in on June of 2014. Okay. So then I married me and you know the years go by so fast, so I got to think. Me in 2018 and I married my husband in 2016. Okay. Okay, so when um when I had first met you, you weren't married to him. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. No. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you just had a baby. Yes, I did. I finally had a daughter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Um I've been wanting a girl for what 17 years oh my goodness <laughs> wait a minute your oldest is 17 yes no already. don't you tell me that don't yep. you tell me that yes he is yes he is now girl yep it's been that long <laughs> going on 18. <laughs> yeah not even my mouth is on the floor That's how, how could that grow. be you will see baby nelson don't you put that on me. Girl, Don't put that on me, so honey. Fast. Listen, one came <laughs> so quick, and I'm still trying to recover, okay? Oh, trust me, the recovery is going to be so speedy. They grow really fast. I'm going to have to have another baby, y'all. Ooh. <laughs> Good thing Ooh. the producer ain't in here. <laughs> oh, come get him. <laughs> that might be a trouble. No, but um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm a little afraid. Uh, of him because he's growing up so fast. Mm-hmm. I I took a picture of him this morning and um, I was just like, wow, he looks completely different than he did last week. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, you know, my baby is really growing up and I just can't, I can't believe it. Like I, I remember know. when we were just bringing him home from the hospital. Yes. And now, you know, he's a toddler and getting ready to go to school. Oh girl, I look at my 17 year old and I'm staring at him. And he's like, Ma, what's wrong? <laughs> and sometimes my husband is looking at me staring. He's like, You okay? And I'm like, Yeah, yeah, just look at my baby. Like, yeah, he's about to be 18. I'm looking at the cuts in his arms and I'm just like, Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Um I'm sorry, I just need to find my place here. All right, so what actually made you uh start to cover? <sighs> wow, good question. So um I was working for a very, very prominent company. And um for legal purposes, mm-hmm. um I can't even dis- disclose who right, they were. right. But um, I was working for them, and it, it. I decided to, you know, I grew up. First of all, let me start by saying I grew up in Islam. Uh-huh. My household was Islamic Muslims. You know, we adhered to it. We went to some school, you know. But um, I always had this fire for um, a fashion, and um, you know, just. The glam, mm-hmm. the glitz and glam. Mm-hmm. So um, I was the girl that if all my sisters, if we were, if they were all wearing blue, I'm wearing blue, but I'm going for the red belt. <laughs> yeah. and, um, my dad would always be like, why are you always different? You know, but what it was, it was that fire in me, that desire to always want to be glamorous, mm-hmm. you know, and seek that, that realm. Mm-hmm. And, you know, as a young girl, and my father was very stern um, in Islam, it was limits. And I didn't understand. Mm-hmm. I didn't understand the limits. Um, so I said, when I get older <laughs> and I'm able to do what I want to do, I'm going to test the waters a little bit. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, and I did that. Um, I stopped, you know, I had a time when I stopped covering and I was just all in there, all the glam. And, you know, as I got older, I started to reflect and, you know, I started working for this big company, super excited, but they just weren't nice. Mm-hmm. They just weren't nice. Um, first, I felt like it weren't nice because I was, you know, black. Yeah. Um, and I was just like, okay, I'm like the only black one in the room. Mm-hmm. Um, and although I was, you know, showing a lot of my colleagues how things are done, I was shocked at the same time. Like, this is a big company. How doesn't everybody know? Right. But the the treatment that I received there kind of made me um, reflect a little and go back to what I know. Right. Um, and then, you know, coming out of fashion school and working in different, you know, in the industry, um, I just kind of felt like, you know, it was a struggle of race. And I know I'm Muslim, although I'm not covered. Let me just go back to what I know. Right. I decided to do that. And this company was livid. They fired me a week after. (gasps) Oh, my God. Did you sue them? I did. Oh, my God. (laughs) I did sue 
of them. I did win. Did and y'all hear because that? Of, you know, the legal um, proceedings, I'm not allowed to say. Yeah, but what I mean, mean, what a mess. So yeah. I was going to ask you that. Like, I know that we're in NYC and it's a little bit more open-minded mm-hmm. here mm-hmm. because we're a big melting pot. But mm-hmm. I wanted to know, like, have, have, if you had experienced any discrimination oh heck yeah heck yeah i mean in the fashion industry industry sad to say we sometimes you face it or back then you face it being black exactly number one you face it being black right so i knew deep down my struggle was going to be too yeah. black and muslim exactly um after the whole 9 11 scare um everyone just kind of developed this fear for islam and had no idea what it really stood for. It's peace. It's right. really not this whole riot and terrorists or terrorism that's being practiced. That's right. not what Islam stands for. It's not what it, te- it teaches. It's not the lifestyle of a Muslim, Muslima. And I knew that while going to school and working in the industry, those were going to be my two struggles because whilst I was mixing, my heart knew the truth. Exactly. So I knew that ultimately I did not want to die in a state of falsehood rather. right that's how i would say so that will always be like on my head um and when i graduated and i just kind of felt like yo i just what else is it for me to do besides get extremely to the top and then you know i started thinking am i really going to make it to the top without this fight am i willing i might as well just go all in and start practicing and that's it right but it didn't go the way i planned as i mentioned i was terminated um and after suing, I was a little depressed. Yeah. Um, you know, I was covering and I didn't know at the time how to hone the fact that I am a Muslim. I have a lot of, you know, style and grace. Yes. Um, I have a history of fashion and I know what I'm getting into. But at the time, I was so depressed because this was a huge company and it was like, oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when I would apply for other companies, it was like, um, I would, you know, it was like I get stared at. So I'll give you an example. I can say this company. I used to work for Tommy Hill Figure mm-hmm. um, back when I first started school and I got into the internship program and then it was paid and I was working for them mm-hmm. with PBH. So I went back to um, apply. Um, I got the interview. I went in, everything went well. And I remember leaving the interview and the interviewer said to me, um, how did you get this job the first time? And I'm like, what do you, you know, what do you mean? The first time I got this job, I w- it was off impact, impulse. Um, I was the perfect fit, but I knew that he was a bit uncomfortable with my covering mm-hmm. and things like that. And he had the audacity to ask me, how did I get the job the first time? But, oh, that is so ridiculous. Yeah, of course, I had to tell him, well, long before you were hired. Exactly. <laughs> you know, but, you know, it was a lot. I've worked for other companies and it was a lot, but once... You know, I was able to build that confidence. I was in there. I mean, my last position before having Layla was with Tiffany and Company. Oh. They were the best. Good. I was so comfortable with them. They were the best. If I, when I decide to go back, if I decide to go back, um, I might go back. I, you know, most likely it would be them, but I, I'm more interested in starting my own line. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. I mean, because yeah. there is a shortage of modest, modest fashion. So, it, is. Um, it is. I would definitely support 100%. Um, <laughs> collab, whatever you want. But I'm I'm so sorry that you had to to deal with those instances. Like, yeah, um, it's already, and I mean, you, you made a good point. Like, as women and Black women, and then on top of that, you're Muslim, like, we have the world working against us. Um, a lot of times people feel like we're not worthy um, of, of doing this and doing that and men can do it better, you know? And um, it really ruffles me to the core, mm-hmm. um, 100%. Yeah. I feel like this is the age of women's empowerment. And I feel like, you know, a lot of times women can do it better, you know, like they're, top firms all over the place mm-hmm. where women can still walk in a room full of men and mm-hmm. slay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I'm not talking about with the clothes. I'm talking about with her brain, her mind. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. we're not all boobs and, and lipstick, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying really like people, when they, when you walk in a room and you're well-dressed, you're well put together. Um, that's all they see. 
-hmm. they can't really look past it and see like what you are internally like what you can bring to the table um and you know the nerve of them to even ask and question why or how you got the job before you know um what I look like doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. What I bring to this company is what matters. But honestly, those are not the type of people that you want to work with. Absolutely. Okay? Because honestly, you could probably do their job better than them. And that's what really intimidates them. Mm-hmm. 100%. Mm-hmm. When you come in there headstrong like that, people are afraid. Like, oh, she going to take my job. She exactly. can't be here. She exactly. can't be here. And exactly. it, it really bothers me, which is why I had decided that I wanted to go into business myself anyway. But, um, you know, we'll get back to that on a, a different day. <laughs> certainly, certainly. So um, I, any other uh, situations, not to even want you to have to think about that, but just mm-hmm. like out in public, like at the airport or anything like that? Um, you know what? I've had to do that. No. Well, that's good. I can't really say no. Um, I guess I've been protected from that. Yes. I like, no. Because um, I'm going to have to, you know, check if you <laughs> I, I'm quick to check it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, thank God I have it because, you know, hijab was not something that you put on you wear it with your character exactly so i would hate to have to be you know a resort my sister trisha she'll be like oh yeah such a punk now i'm like well it's necessary <laughs> to be humble but if i got you gotta check get, a few people yeah, then um <laughs> i'm gonna do it yeah, you know what I mean? so, but i have to do that i haven't i haven't had so i hope i don't have to it's just not good um you know you do have rude people but that's just rude people exactly um but as far as you know my belief goes and and you know being um taken advantage of because of it if i don't remember but i don't it hasn't happened well that is good i'm glad (laughs) oh my goodness um i was really so honestly guys i was so nervous to ask her that because i was afraid of the answer um (laughs) no seriously because um it is it's hard it's hard out here for everybody of color but um Mm -hmm. i know that it's even more difficult for my muslimas out there because you know everybody wants to look at you as a danger to everybody Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's totally not the case like you said um islam represents peace and i thought that that's what america represented to be honest with you but now (laughs) you know things are just strange like yeah i just i don't understand like what is going on um and you know i'm i'm disturbed by a lot of things that that go on but um anyway (laughs) um how does your husband feel about you working I have one of those old school babies. <laughs> <laughs> and what I mean by that is he's like, you know, you know, baby, just stay home with the kids and let me provide. You know, I love to provide. Um, and you could just take care of everything. And um, it's all well and good. But the person that I am. Exactly. <laughs> the person that I am, like, I, you know. You know me. I'm always like, yes. you know, my hustle is real and I'm on the go. It's what I love to do and it's my comfort zone. Right. So being at home, it, it's it's a, it's a struggle. It definitely is. And I'm, I'm, I'm managing it. Mm-hmm. But I recently um, spoke with him and I'm like, babe, um, I'm kind of ready to go back. Yeah. <laughs> like at least to start, you know opening up that door to come out with my clothing line right for the muslims right you know um it's just something that i've always wanted to do when i went to school for it and everything that was my ultimate goal and i feel like time is something that it's precious and we can never get back mm-hmm. and it's it's a huge blessing from the lord when you have free time yes so you should do that which is beneficial with it mm-hmm. And if, you know, my dream and my goal is to introduce my fashion line, then I think I need to either work on that uh-huh. and also do something. Like, I want to do, I've just um, applied for a work at home for the firm. Okay. 
Hopefully that works. <laughs> he's he's okay with it. He sees that I'm always like, you know, using some sort of wisdom when coming out <laughs> and saying, um, I'm ready, like not. Um, so inshallah, that should work. <laughs> well, it should. I, I hope so. I mean, I really commend <laughs> you. I, I had the same conversation with my husband recently. Um, you know, it was really a blessing to like be able to stay home and mm-hmm. watch my son like grow up. And, you know, I didn't have to see on video like what his, you know, milestones. his different milestones. Right. Mm-hmm. But now I'm just like, Enough. I got to be doing something, you know, like all these little hustles that I've been into um, over the past year. Like they have been great. I'm happy that, you know, my husband gave me the opportunity to even do this show, mm-hmm. um, which the show will continue, even if I do start working for InStyle, inshallah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I look, 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 look. Even though I know I kind of killed that assessment earlier, I'm still hoping that Allah will just like listen. (laughs) What keeps me going is the mother of all books. Yes. Is already completed. And what I mean with that is the first thing that Allah created was the pen and he told the pen to write. So whatever you're destined for is already written. Right. So you are going to get that which you are supposed to get. Yes. And you are only going to miss that which you wasn't supposed to get. Right. So it's all written, you know, and if you didn't get it, it's for a reason. Right. <laughs> That's why I said, I told, I told my friend LaQuinte today because I called him and I was like, oh my gosh, I blew it. I know I didn't get it. And I was like, but you know what? If I didn't get it, it means that I wasn't meant to work there anyway. Absolutely. So I have already come to terms with it. Um, I have already accepted whatever happens, happens. Mm-hmm. But those are mainly the jobs that you do get. Do you notice that? I don't know if that's happened to you. <laughs> the jobs that you think I didn't get, I just know I didn't get. Those be the jobs that caught you back. Yeah. Well, I'd be mean, like, oh, yeah. Right? Because, so, again, I didn't even think they were going to respond to begin with. Right. Well, I have no editing experience. Yeah. So the fact that, you know, they did, they must have saw something on that resume that they liked. Oh, I might have to make a little duet. <laughs> I need you in there. <laughs> listen, I'm like, you know, even if I, like, because I don't know who they have writing for them now. But mm-hmm. I'm, I'm in my head, I'm thinking a black voice at InStyle. A black voice at InStyle. That's all I'm thinking because I really, really, really want to just put my flavor on a little bit of something. Oh, great. You, know? you got flavor. <laughs> you, be dri- <laughs> you be dropping flavor dripping so much, honey. I know. <laughs> yes, I know. Mm-hmm. This I know. is what I'm trying to do, okay? <laughs> so y'all pray for me out there too, okay? Um, and what's it called? Makes a lot. Makes a lot. Yes. Makes a, no, what you mean? Oh, to pray. Do I? Oh, do I? I'm sorry. Do what I? did I say? That's what a was... lot, but it's a lot is prayer as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I pick up a lot from my mom, so I, right. I try to, you know, me. make it all t- together. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Getting it there, it takes time. It takes time. It takes time, but it's definitely, it's worth it. It's awesome. Um, oh my goodness. I think that I asked you anything. So do you have any fashion advice for all the people out there? Yeah, let me see. I have, I have, I'll, I'll say my main one that I stay to. <laughs> Your main one. Mm-hmm. She has a main piece of advice. Spend as much as you can afford. Spend within your means, I mean, on staple items. Yes. Um, basics can always be replaced, but that staple item, if you can afford it and it's within your means, keep that in your closet. For example, a black blazer. Yes. <laughs> I mean, a black blazer, like you have to have that. Think of the staple items and keep them. Um, you know, always think modest, chic. This is what the definition of a woman is. So um, yeah. I think my other one, I think I'll, I'll drop one more. Don't be too mixy and matchy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I hate that. I'm sorry. I know. I'm the same way. I'm the same way. Don't I do so not like matchy. matchy. Yeah. You know, I just, you know, some people, they will, you know, put on the, the belt and the shoes and the pocketbook that match each other. And I'm like, yeah. shop. Let the colors come <laughs> each other. 
<laughs> compliment, not that. <laughs> Mix patterns with prints and you know, finagle with fabrication. Yes. Um, but yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, pretty perfectly covered said, Mashallah, I love her. She <laughs> loves you. Oh, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, I have that's pretty much the same advice I would give too. But also I will say, you know, because I was going to cover it today, but I could not for the life of me get my hair under control. Wow. But I couldn't get it under the scarf. Like oh, it was just okay. like it was too big. <laughs> for the situation so i was like you know what i'm not even gonna go on air looking crazy i'm just gonna you know i'm i'm gonna make a headpiece and, and call it a I day i love this too though oh. i so love it <laughs> thank you i remember when you first did i was like did you really do that <laughs> but it's so you it's funny because it defines you it fits you everyone can do that you know that uh, I mean, I I always feel like people can, but no, everyone can do that. Well, all right, you know. It's so wait, like wait, wait. Have different prints. So okay, <laughs> so I did a little bit of research um, mm -hmm. the other day, right? Um, and I didn't know that there were different ways that people can uh, wrap their hijab. Oh. So yeah. I I read that there's a way that the college girls wear them, there's a way that the little girls wear them, and then there's a way that you wrap it if you have an oval face or a round face or a square face. Oh, that's interesting. I was like, I had no idea. Yeah, that, that's new to me. Right? And there was like different ways that you wrap it. And then I was like, um, when I saw the one with the college girls, it made me think about, um, uh, what was the girl from Project Runway? I, was it? Did she share my same name? It wasn't my name. Was it Naima? I, I feel like it was. I'm not sure. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. But it's the way that she wore her we scarf. Find out. Let's see. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember her name. Uh, da, 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 da. it's drawing a blank. But anyway, I was like, oh my goodness, that's how she wears her scarf. Mm. So um, I just I had no idea that there were different ways. That you could wear it. Well, essentially, there. Oh, it's Ayana. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. Did you and Did you follow like, her in Project Memory? No, no. I think around the time of Pride, I was like new into the mom thing again after ten years. Oh, okay. I was just like, I didn't. Really, I still don't have much time to watch TV like that, and that's yeah. interesting. Yeah. We're paying this bill, and I'm just like, oh, okay, yeah, I got TV. Well, let you me know? tell you, she did such a good job. I've heard though. I mean, I've heard. honestly, I was so upset that she didn't win because um, her finale piece, mm -hmm. I will wear it in a hot second. Really? Yes. I need to look back at the um, episode. She, it was this big blue, like minty green gown. I was like, oh my gosh. Supermarket, <laughs> like that's oh. why I would wear it to trade to the supermarket. I was just like, that gown is everything. Oh, I didn't see it. She did such a wonderful job throughout the entire season, but her finale collection that she showed at Fashion Week, I could not believe for the life of me why she didn't win. Wow. But I understood why the guy who beat her won because you know it's all about the forecasting, and you know how they are. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. but I feel like she'll actually do better. On not being the winner, right, right, right. Uh, because they always do. That. Yeah, because it's like you know you it's you're stuck in a contract, mm -hmm. and you know there are certain people you can and can't work with. Like I know all about what y'all got to sign for, <laughs> okay? Because um, I, I I know the insiders. So by all means, like don't be feel bad if you don't win a project runway. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, yes, yeah, so you have anything else you want to add? Um, I really don't. Well, I, I feel like I should have. No, <laughs> I, I mean, you gave your style tips, which I think were so dope. And um, honestly, I love this little Chanel situation you got on this scarf now. I'm Amazing. telling you, I love, love, love these hijab embellishments, okay? Like, because that's what I was going to do today. I was going to put like a bunch of pins on mine. I, I, it was an epic fail. I mean, maybe I can have you back next week so I can try it again. <laughs> I'll be happy to come. You know, I love to support you, girl. <laughs> oh, God. I still have that beautiful skirt you designed for me. Oh, my gosh. She bought a skirt for me, you guys. Oh, so, that leather plaited one was everything. 
my signature skirt, the Checker Princess skirt, she bought for me and I actually made it a longer length for her, um, which I was so, I met her in the middle of Brooklyn. I carried that heavy thing on the mm -hmm. train. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love it and so dope. Oh my God, love it. Oh my gosh. I actually wore it to um, Alex Fashion Show. Really? Did. did you take pictures? I like no. people buy clothes from me and never tag me. And I'm like, do people really wear the I clothes they buy? I was bad for that. I was bad for that. And then you know what happened, man? Right? What? I got pregnant and can't fit. <laughs> oh my God. I was like, oh God. <laughs> I've got to lose this weight. Like, this cannot be like. Stop it. And yeah. I mean, honestly, you can't do that. That's a staple piece. You got to yeah. get up in there. Because yeah. mm -mm, you can't give it away as much money as that. Oh, no, I won't. <laughs> you know I won't. Good girl. I was getting all kind of stops with that. Listen. Seriously. But I mean, that's, that's a show stopping skirt. skirt. People stop me every time. I, I can't fit mine anymore. I got to stop breastfeeding. Cause um, you know, I'm dropping pounds like it ain't nothing, girl. I, I put, tried to put it on the other day and put a safety pin in the back. That skirt's so heavy it broke the safety pin. I was oh, like, yeah. yep, yep. I guess I'll just eat a few more donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I I don't understand. I nurse and it's not like I'm blue brain out there. That's so crazy. Everyone's different. Yeah, everyone is different everyone is on the different. breastfeeding tip. Yeah, because I went to um. A breastfeeding event. Oh, side note. Sorry. Just, I'm going to hold that thought real quick. Baby Nelson and I got chosen to do a breastfeeding fashion show. I mean, not fashion show, photo shoot. Oh, okay. For a, um, a up and coming like uh, maternity swimwear line, which I'm oh. so excited about because I was like, you know, another thing that I just went out on a limb with, I was like, well, let me see what happens. You know, if they choose us or don't, doesn't matter. Doesn't hurt to try. And they chose us. And I'm like, thank God I got my swim body going on right now. But <laughs> I want those pictures, you know, because we don't have like I have tons and tons of pictures of my son and his father. But there are not tons and tons of pictures of us. So oh. I'm like, I want those pictures with me and him and so I can frame them all around the house. So I'm really excited about that photo shoot. It's within the month. So I'm like, oh, and it pays oh. well. Okay, $500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good gig. <laughs> yes, yes. Honey, I be working. I be trying to book gigs left and right. Like I told you, I can't keep up with this calendar at this point. Um, oh, of course. And I mean, my palms are still wet thinking about what I'm about to do tomorrow. Because Fashion fashion Week officially starts right. tomorrow. And I have a show tomorrow at 5 o'clock. So I have to get my outfit together, which is probably right back there. Um, and, you know, as you some you know, may notice, that's my wedding gown. And um, I threw a, a flannel top on top of it. So um, I'm going to put on my Chuckies, my sneakers. I'm going to hike that dress up and I'm going to take the train to that fashion show. They know. <laughs> they, you know they going to stop you with pictures, right? You know they are. But listen, mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to show up at Press and Media, I'm going to show up. That's right. And show up. And they'll be like, who's she here for? She in the show or she interviewing people? I could do both if y'all want me to. Oh, girl. <laughs> I know that's right. I'm just kidding. I'm just showing off a little bit. Um, no, but I really am. I'm so nervous about this tomorrow. And I got to show every day up until next Friday. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Sunday, I actually have three shows back to back. So I'm freaking out uh, just a tiny, tiny little bit. Uh, but make sure that you stay tuned to my live because, you know, going live from the front row, it'll be like you're just just like you're there with me. Um, so what better prize can you get than that to, than to see the clothes right up in, you know, front and center? Um, so I'll be going live every day. Um, and also uh, make sure you check out my YouTube channel because I will always uh, cover all the clothes that I see and uh, the designer interviews and the model interviews. So uh, it's pretty much going to be like a behind the scenes type of situation from my eyes. Uh, so it's pretty much my personal blog of Fashion Week and you guys will get to see what it's like, the chaos, because I've never done that. 
When mm -hmm. I was the designer, I never uh, had someone take footage of the backstage chaos mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. you know, what I was going through because it's always a panic attack too. when a zipper breaks or yeah, a button pops shoot. off mm -hmm. and, you know, you don't know where <laughs> nobody is in your team. But, um, yeah, that's, like shoes that's it. That's it. But uh, you guys, thank Naima so much for stopping by. What an amazing oh, interview. <laughs> oh, you. my gosh. I mean, <laughs> honestly, hopefully we break the internet with this one because she is such a wonderful friend. Um, oh, thanks. <laughs> I mean, I and it's, it's funny because I have always been this way my entire life. I met her through my friend Alex Vincent um, on the train, honestly, <laughs> in passing. And I honestly do not know how Naima and I moved forward from that train ride, but I make friends anywhere. And again, Naima and I have been friends for almost 10 years now, and I still can't even remember how we became friends. <laughs> Okay, like that's the reality of the situation. Like I talk to people at the bus stop. I talk to people in the supermarket. Like I make, I make friends and I mm -hmm. keep friends. Mm -hmm. um, and she has always like we may not speak every day, but she has always been like an amazing friend to me. She's always been supportive, and I just thank you so much for being oh, here today. You're welcome. Thank you so so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, so I'm going to talk to everybody now. Everybody say thank you to Naima. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm so happy to have been here. <laughs> I'm so glad. All right. So let me do the giveaway. Uh, <laughs> go sit over there. <laughs> Thanks, girl. I'm like, wait, do I go now? I think she didn't that. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's about that time. Uh, we're doing, I'm going to do the giveaway real quick, real quick. Uh, I'm. These days, I have I do not have uh, my question prepared. I always think of something off the dome. <laughs> but um, okay, so first, let me just show you this, okay? Um, so I I actually wrapped this myself, and I think I did a, a pretty good job doing it. Um, mm -hmm. I looked at a tutorial because I was gonna actually wear one myself but i was like well let me just put it on the mannequin and actually um well the back has been done but i i sell these two guys these bedazzled uh mannequin heads if you ever want one from me these are are on my uh my etsy page okay so this beautiful pashmina scarf it is it says new york here and then it has, it's printed with the Brooklyn Bridge. Absolutely beautiful scarf, okay? So you, as you can see, you could wear it as a hijab. Um, if someone who is not Muslim um, happens to win, you can wear it over the shoulder and you could put a pin there. Um, or if you, you know, if you tie your hair up at night, I would hope that you would not do that with this beautiful scarf. But if you tie your hair up at night and you need to use it for that, okay, fine. Um, but so many different ways that you can wear it. So it doesn't have to be, you know, a hijab. You could wear it any kind of way. Um, so this is what I'm giving away tonight. So let me think of a question. You guys all know questions come from Sex in the City. I hope you watch <laughs> all week for the giveaway today. Um, <clears throat> let me see, I'm gonna try to give a an easy one. Uh, da, 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 da. And I hope everybody is like um, in real time, cause I'm so sorry that some of these programs are so slow and delayed. Um, <clears throat> but let's see, what can I do, what can I do? So you do, you, how do you do, do questions for I just do one question, um, um, but it's from Sex and the City. It's like from the movie, the show. Um, did you say we, oh, for the last one where they traveled to? Yeah, I did that one two weeks ago. Let's see, let's see. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me one second. I'm trying to go through all the episodes in my head. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, oh, okay. 
What is Carrie Bradshaw's favorite brand of shoes? What's her favorite brand of shoes? I don't think this is an easy one. <laughs> or, um, oh my gosh, mommy, congratulations. Ooh. The answer is Manolo Blahnik. Uh -huh. Yes, those are her favorite shoes. Um, so yes, mom, this beautiful blue scarf belongs to you. Uh, so I thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. This was an absolutely wonderful show. Guys, please, please, please like and share my video when I go off air, okay? I want so many people to know about it because like I said, I like to talk about, um, oh, my live ended on, uh, on IG. I like to talk about um, things that other people don't talk about. Uh, so please, please, please like and share this video. And I thank you guys once again for tuning in to Tea Time. It was so amazing to have you here at the party. And I will see you next Wednesday um, at 9 o'clock, okay? Good night, everybody. Aww. <laughs> I hope I looked right and did right. Oh, God.